Hello everybody. If you're trying to solve the noise problem in your Nutribullet, there are lots of videos out there talking about how to replace the ball bearings. It is in fact the ball bearings that is the main culprit. And the reason the ball bearings fail is because water gets inside them and they rust. Uh, this is a magnet and so these are failed bearings from a Nutribullet. And so if you're going to go through the trouble of replacing these bearings, they're just going to fail again when they get water in them. I think putting water in them is inevitable based on the way the thing is sealed. So the solution that I'm going to try is to go with a set of stainless steel ball bearings. Here they are here, they're the same size, the magnet will not stick to them. They are double sealed, one on each side. Here's what I picked, 698 RS, RS stands for rubber seals, it's a a 698 bearing. I think the S probably stands for stainless steel. Uh, I found the best place to buy small components like this is AliExpress. And the other suggestion I would have for you is make sure you uh, have a top cash back account. If you don't, be sure to use the referral link in the details below. But use my top cash back referral link, open a top cash back account and then log into your top cash back account and then link from there to AliExpress, eBay, Walmart, wherever you like to do your online shopping, generally with the exception of Amazon. But you can get yourself an additional one, two, three, six, or even eight percent using top cash back. I'm not going to spend too much time on this other than I wanted to talk about the ball bearings. I also would like to talk about the method of installing the bearings. There are some excellent videos out there on how to remove them. In fact, I even have a video out there that shows how to remove ball bearings. Here's how I recommend you install the bearing. When you press the new bearings in, you only want to press on the outer race. You do not want to press on the inner race or the seal. You want to press strictly on this outer race. So I like to start the bearing manually by just putting it into place. And then you want to take either a 14 or 15 millimeter socket or even a 9 16 socket. I like to turn it upside down and gently tap it to get it seated and started. And then I like to finish it by using either a half inch or a 13 millimeter socket, whichever one you happen to have handy. They both work about equally well. That's home. So there it is. It's that simple. Just apply force on that outer race. I'll do it again on the second bearing. Let's put the second bearing in exactly the same way. Here it is. Set it as square as I can on the hole. I'm going to take my I'm going to use my 14 millimeter socket, get it started, and then use either a half inch socket or a 13 millimeter socket to finish it up. These are the bearings I bought. They're marked as uh, 698s, which are 8 by 19 by 6 millimeter. I paid $3.55 for a pair of them, plus 23 cents tax and free shipping. On top of that, I got my top cash back discount. Here's the top cash back rebate. Here's the top cash back rebate on two of the bearings. The other bearings which I've ordered but have not received are 440C stainless, a pack of 10 from this company here. So in conclusion, I'm hopeful that this upgrade to stainless steel bearings will improve the life and keep the Nutribullet quiet. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or useful, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel.